Hi everyone, it's Raleigh and welcome. Uh, we're gonna start today a little different. I'm gonna be opening up some happy mail I got from Rebel Ink Co. And yes, my name is Dawn. And that's why this is on here. Raleigh's to name I've used online for ages. Um, and I'm very excited to see what's inside here. And I discovered Rebel Ink Co. through Becky at Whoops, I did it again, Co. Um, big fan of her and her videos and she features a lot of these designs and I just especially this was from I think the December box and I completely fell in love with kind of the celestial theme and the colors and I thought it would go really good with my weeks my pink weeks which is a wellness so I decided to pick it up thankfully they do have um, kind of pieces from their subscription boxes that are available afterwards sometimes I think for a little while so that's how I picked this up um, and just look at these designs they're beautiful they're the colors are great but also um, you know the items that she's featured the way that they're designed aesthetically I just I think it's fantastic and I'm very excited to use these designs in my weeks like look at these just gorgeous so I'm going to use this kind of starting for March but also just as kind of the main overall theme for the planner and then I've actually got a couple more orders in um because I'm planning to use her kits you know for for the wellness as I go on um and here's the the date covers and then a bunch of other little kind of dots and stickers which would be great because I'm going to be using this for wellness and I mean look at this uh, how can you not help but uh <laughs> I adore it I think it's fantastic and like I said I think it's perfect for my wellness weeks it's inspiring and lively and is something a little different than I'm using in in my cousin in my other weeks so just absolutely beautiful <laughs> yeah I'm really happy that I that I went with this and the timing has actually worked out quite well I kind of needed this this week so it's a nice it's a nice treat so I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to lay stuff down again I'm going to start to use it for March and then also in some other areas in my in my weeks so I think I'm gonna step away and do that all right so I went ahead and put those stickers in here I did it sort of off camera when I had a little bit more quiet time so I have put in you know some of the stickers kind of throughout because this will kind of be the main theme although like I said I have other kits coming so this is what I've put in for March I'm still in this last week of February figuring out exactly what layout I'm gonna use and, and format but um, so here's what the first week I've kind of laid out. I still have to fill it in. Um, like I said, I'm still kind of using this week to kind of, you know, iron out the kinks, but I'm, I'm so excited and it really just kind of brings it alive. Um, yeah, just absolutely gorgeous. So I highly recommend checking them out. I'm going to put a link in the description. All right, and now on to filling in in my cousin, doing my week's layout for my cousin. Uh, as I noted earlier, I didn't actually film last week's because last week was just a lot. Um, that's what it looked like. But uh, yeah, now let's get into filling this one. I've got a big crinkle on this page. I'm not quite sure why, but we are going to carry on. Um, so I've been using the, I use the Coffee Monster Co. for my cousin. And so I'm gonna use that again. I've been using a lot of the kind of February kit. I really like the colors, the browns and the pinks in it. So I am gonna finish up using that for this week being the last, I can't believe the last full week of February. And I'm gonna start just by separating out the weekend because that seems to help my brain. <laughs> And yeah, I think everyone kind of goes through those times. Last week was one of them where there's just, just a lot of uh, everywhere I turn, just little, little challenges here and there. So I kind of went easy on myself. Like I said, I did my planning, but just sort of on my own. I'm gonna get these up. All right, so I just went ahead and put the washi on the top and the bottom. And next is my work sticker. This week is actually a nice one because what will it be tomorrow, which will be Monday the 20th, is family day here in Canada, so we'll be off, which will be lovely. I think it's actually a holiday in the States as well. Um, but yeah, it's nice just to have the four-day week, although the kind of flip side to that is that, unfortunately, it it will make my work week, because it's short, very, very busy. So I'm trying to be you know, mindful of that as well. And so yeah, just stuck the work sticker. A couple weeks ago, I got some of the um, uh, the Helen script for a couple words, which I really, really liked. But uh, yeah, yeah, so this week's going to be very intensive as far as work goes. I do work from home, but I have a lot of, I'll be, have a lot of meetings. It'll, it'll be a much 
kind of denser day than normal without the usual kind of breaks for development and that kind of work. So, and I'm kind of on two minds. Part of me thinks on weeks like that, it's better to kind of really lower other expectations, just decompress in the evening. But then what I'm kind of thinking for this week is because it isn't, I mean, mentally it's a little challenging, but I kind of think it might be good to keep the momentum going. So I'm really going to focus on doing things in the evening. It's something I've been trying to work on, but I think it will be even more important this week. Um, so, oh yeah, I'm going to put one of these family time on for Monday because it is going to be family day and a day off. So I think I've got one of those stickers too. There we go. It's one of the reasons I like Coffee Monster Co. They have stickers for kind of everything. <laughs> Um, all right, let's see what else do we want to put on here. And I'm still kind of trying to work out, like, when I put stuff in here of things I intend to do, it can kind of be a little bit of a bummer if I don't do them. So I'm trying to find that balance of, like, prompts for myself, but not completely filling it in. Just sort of ideas of things that I want to do and trying to motivate myself to do them. Um, let's see, what else do I want to put on here? I think, oh, I think I'll use this. This is some of the emoji washi and I really do like this kind of pink and brown uh, chocolatey kind of mix that I've had going on for February like I said I did change a bit for last week I used actually more of the um the Lunar New Year's kit just to brighten things up because it was Valentine's week but uh oh yeah I've got to remember I put that there because recycling everything's normally Friday but it's getting bumped so I'll put that reminder there and then Thursday is this coming Thursday is one of my paydays so it's also when I do my kind of finance, sit down and every, make sure everything's in order and update my budget. And let's see what else. Hmm. Yeah, I've been continuing to watch still a lot of other videos and, and it's really inspiring to see what other people do. And yeah, what's really interesting to me is, is um, one, it's comforting to know that a lot of people are still kind of figuring things out like I am. And I think it's a matter of just finding a way that it works best for you. And I'm just putting down some of these um, kind of sticky flag things because they're that chocolatey color that works because I think I'll use some of these text as well. Put the text on top of them. Uh, let's see, yeah, okay, we'll put that. Good, I really like her script writing. That's one of the things I should maybe work on this year too is getting better at writing things myself. Um, <laughs> All right, so let's put that down. So you know what to do is I think I might do a chore one as well. I want to get some stuff done around my home. So yeah, on the bottom here, I just kind of make lists around these things so that hopefully during the week, it kind of tweaks me to, hey, this is something you can, you should be doing and focusing on. And I do want to put something kind of in the weekendy area. And because this, I think is going to be a bit more of a challenging week. So I'm going to put a couple, I think I'll end up with a couple of these be kind to yourself <laughs> stickers myself um well let's see what else do I want to put in here oh that's what I was going to do because in the evening I am going to try and do something so whether it's probably make a list underneath like whether it's art or reading or going for a walk I, I think it'll be good because I think I'll be tempted this week with kind of very busy times during the day uh, and again, I'm not actually leaving my home at home office, but busy as in I've got a lot of meetings with clients and within my company, so which I like, but it can be very intense um, talking to people and you just find yourself kind of exhausted. But I think it'll be more important to actually get up and, and, and do something. And even if I start it and don't kind of follow through, I think getting going. So I think if I put those prompts there. And then just some other stickers. Yeah, day off sticker. And I think I'm going to put, yeah, another, I'm going to put little little ones up there. I'm going to give myself a few more stickers than normal because I know it's going to be a bit of a, another bit of a challenging week. And yeah, I rent. Okay. And so this is what I stepped away for a little bit, but this is what the week ended up looking like. So this coming weekend is the last weekend of the month. So I usually do my big cleaning then got a tracker and yeah, just filled in some items. And here is my other weeks that I use just as my kind of with me when I'm out and about and for quick notes. So I just used up again my last little bit of the February Coffee Monster Co. Uh, kit I'm using. I really like these colors. So yeah, just a few things in here. 
And yeah, I think that will be it for that one. These ones I keep pretty simple. It's mostly just for jotting things down kind of when I'm on the go and main things. So yeah, still trying to figure out a, a, maybe a better use for it, but I'll get there. <laughs> And wrapping up this video as we started with some happy mail from Rebel Ink Co. This was my second order that came in just a couple days ago. So I thought I'd open it today as well. So I just went ahead and took the uh, invoice to let me get these out and have a look. And the theme for these ones, this, these were the, um, I think it was the, the, pl the planner, like a planner theme for this one. Um, and yeah, again, just gorgeous pieces, uh, lots of neat deco, and these colors again, I think go really, really well. Oh, and this I was really excited about. If you order from them, um, Becky from Whoops, I did it again, Co has a, a code, and if you use it, you get one of one of these as well. And I think these are fantastic, especially for use in a wellness planner. So please go check out um, Becky's videos, and then I think she's got the link uh, in many of them uh, with her or with her discount code as well. And yeah, like look at these, just so more of the kind of pinks and purples, which go really well with my wellness. Like look at the deco pieces and I like the kind of watercolor effect on things. Um, yeah, just a, a huge fan and yeah, I'm excited. I think I do have one more order coming through. So like look at this washi tape. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. So much more vibrant and kind of, you know, than, than I usually, than I use in my cousin, I tend to gravitate more towards more neutral things, but that's where I thought this was perfect for the wellness planner. Cause I need a little bit of a little, little bit more of a, a push, a little bit kind of fancier and more encouraging. So yeah, I think this is going to work out great. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Thanks.